Good, do it. Right, welcome back to an Owl Wilson channel. An Owl Wilson channel. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we're going to get my girlfriend, Emily McCarthy, to teach me how to put on circus, Cirque du Soleil makeup. She's been there for eight years, but don't even bore you with all that boring stuff. A massive part of it is being able to put makeup on for the shows every day and particularly that as well the guys get taught on this, they learn lessons to how to apply their makeup, is that right? Yeah, Good. and because you want to go to surf. I've not got that far yet! All right. Today I'm going to be getting my lesson because maybe one day in the future I'll be a part of Cirque du Soleil show and now I'll already know how to do it and it'll be entertaining to watch this, it absolutely won't be. I think you should switch the video off right now. This makeup that I'm going to do is from First Show Works on Barakai and I've actually put you in this makeup before but you're going to do it on yourself today. Mm. So basically how I'm going to look at the end of this video all depends on how good a makeup teacher you are. Oh, I already don't want to do it Em. Em, I already don't Right, well let's just it. get started because the faster we start, the faster we finish. Is this that is right? Good. I just know in thinking that I'm going to be sat here for one hour trying to put shit on my face just makes me feel ill. It makes me feel sick. Right. I already hate it. So what's first now? Um, primer. Right, so a bit. Whoa! I put too much on one cheek. Dude, that's really weird. It's like gel. It's like wax. Yeah, like. Rock. So the makeup doesn't seep into your skin. Sometimes the makeup only takes for 12 hours, so obviously, if you don't want it to seep into your skin, I should probably tap my hair back. Well. But I already feel better having to put that on. It's wet, dead. Like, slippy, innit? Imagine putting this on your hands before, like, doing it. Oh, no, no, no. You wash that off before you do anything. Okay, this is a brand new foundation, so I don't know how this is going. She's okay. pulling all the stocks out. My fingers feel weird and I don't like it. How much she putting on? This is show makeup. You look like a cat. Just like bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there. Yes, and then you're blending it in with your beauty blender. Is that not good? Oh my God, you've got so much red on your face. No offense, but you might need to use a bit more foundation than me. So basically the goal of the foundation, especially that, with show is makeup. Is that meant to be wet and cold? Yeah, it feels the same <laughs> as this. I put them under the tap. The freezing? <laughs> So the goal is to get rid of all the redness because no one wants to see a red face on the stage. I'm already professional at this, look at this. Mine looks better than yours. How oh, does it? I, I say, like I... stabbing myself in the face with a sponge. This is the easy You shut your eyes and put it on your eyelids? Yeah. I like a bit of red on that cheek. Part of my character, a bit of red face. Yeah, I look fit like this. No one, I always say this every time. I go get involved in makeup, it's like... Why can't blokes do this? Well, they can. Like, society accepted. Yeah. What's she done now? Just put paint a load of yellow on your head. Wait for me. Okay, next I want you to paint, paint. some yellow on my head. Yeah, the reason that we're not going all the way up to his hairline is because our Barakai costume comes up to here, so we don't need that. And then you're going to take one of these smaller beauty blenders and blend it down. Is this a bit wet? That's cream paint, so yes, it's wet. How have you blended that like that? With the little sponge. So I put a bit more like that and then you just sort of blend it down. Yes. This little sponge. So what do I do? Just sort of just smash it in. Usually we'd use white, but I ain't got any white, so we just use it more high like concealer. Then you take your big sponge again. You, you're going way faster than I, than I can keep up with. Well, I know, but it's all right. So what have I put? What have I missed? Concealer. So you're just putting this in the middle of your head, under your eyes, around your nose, on your chin. I feel like I'm doing a good job so far. Oh, I can't wait to do my shirt makeup all the time. What have I put in this thing? You rub it in with stick, bit of cheek, bit of nose. No, under your eyes. If you don't want any lines like that yellow, you don't want it like stopping dead, do you know what I mean? Then we're going to take the pink babe, find your cheekbone, you know where your cheekbone is, and then you're sort of just doing this and then we're going to do the same thing with the blending. So you go like, it's like contour, yeah? And then you pull it up a little bit and then we take the smaller beauty blender again mm -hmm. and we're blending it out, look, into the yellow. Right, what am I doing with left hand? I can't left hand right? Don't go too too close into your nose. It's all right. If you've done good there, you can blend that out. You're doing really well so far, babe. You want even more, which I'm really surprised at. Well, I thought I'd hate every minute, but I'm actually quite enjoying this. Really? And when you've done that, you're just sort of neating it up a little bit with the skin coloured one. I think I've put too much red on. Bring out my rosy cheeks. When you do use the beauty blender, don't pull, don't pull it. Don't just swipe. Keep, just keep dab. Dab, 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 just dab. dab. So yours is after I've gone too overboard with red. Well, it's all right because then in the next step, we're gonna set this. Then we're gonna go over it all again with more colour. Right, okay. So then take this and just sort of neaten it around. You see here, you've sort of got too much product there, and I don't have much here. So you just sort of want to use the skin colour to just blend it all there. I think mine looks better than yours. 
Yeah. Absolutely. What's she doing with why? Is that the talcum powder? It's the same. God, I can't wait to do that. Just look into the mirror. I mean, into the camera lens. Mm hmm Because I'd like people to vote who's looked better shit so far, because I think mine looks better. Okay, so this is setting it. So what the product that we just put on is wet. This dries it out, okay? God, it's loads. It's all over, sure. A bit of this talc. I'm going to my mouth. I'm going to my fucking mouth. I can ruin it. I feel like I'm wiping it off. You're not wiping it off. Oh, I've just got snot on it. I've got snot on the brush and then it's going to wipe into my face. Okay, good job. So next, you're going to take this brush, this yellow, go over your forehead where you borrowed from the yellow. You know, it looks shiny. Is this a different yellow? Yes. So what, I'm cream just going to paint this on. Yeah, but oh, we want to keep it lighter here. We don't want any sharp lines, so start up and bring it down. You said paint your forehead yellow. So what am I doing? I'm painting my forehead yellow. And no, to, you know, I know this is your first time teaching this. <laughs> Can you actually tell me what I need to do? Paint your forehead yellow. Oh, actually, don't put it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it on that bit of your head. Oh, it's bringing back some memories, isn't it? I did this on my face. Like seven to ten times a week for five years. So that's what you want to do next. So I want you to take this brush. Let me just show you the technique. If you put too much on, you can take it off on your paper. But you just start on the corn on the side, right? Then down here, and then you slowly bring it out. And then we're gonna blend with the yellow again after that. But do that on both sides first. I bet you'd be quite good at makeup once you get used to it. Yeah, I'm good at it, man. Look at that line. It's perfection. <laughs> You're fully enjoying this. I know you are. Nice baby, you can go a little bit like stronger. So watch, watch my movement like that. Yeah, and then pull, 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 pull. So you're gonna use this brush that I'm using in a second and you're blending. So you see how it's going orange? We don't have any orange on the well, table, I do that, we? Well, I don't use that brush, I use a different no. brush. You need this one. There's like 15 so, brushes in front of me, why? <laughs> you need this one. Okay, so see what I've done? Started here and I've rubbed the yellow in mm. and then pulled it there. So now this is all blended, you see? There's no mm. lines on my face, or at least there shouldn't be. Right, next we're going with this silver under the eye and on top of the eyelid. I don't like things when they go close to your eyes. Oh god, you're not going to enjoy this makeup then. Do you know, like when it comes to eyeliner, I've just, I've, I've, I'm off the, I'm out of the room. No. I can look good without eyeliner, no, I can you tell can't. you. Not with this makeup. I'm going to tell you for free. I'll tell you for free I look good with eyeliner, without eyeliner. <laughs> I can tell you for free you look better with it. I like it. I don't like it. I'm just getting too into it. I think that's why I keep. That's it. what I mean. You forget with filming. You're just doing your own makeup. I'm, I'm, I'm learning here. Would you get like told off then if your makeup wasn't looking good? Yes, definitely. If your makeup's not good, we get like people from Montreal, like the makeup artist, actually come in and check in as makeup. If your makeup's not up to scratch, you have to have like extra lessons, like before trainings and stuff. Well, then you can dust it off with this. And this is what we're doing next. So I've got this paint that you mix with water. I can't see. And we're going to do some lines. So you go starting sort of on the bridge of the nose here. And going up using your eyebrow as sort of a guide. So hitting the bottom of your eyebrow. I know you're enjoying yourself, but this is a YouTube video. My YouTube video. <laughs> One second. It's about me putting makeup on. <laughs> so um, is that my brush there? No. Oh, there's a lot of small ones there, Em. Can you get me one, please? <laughs> Keep going back in the water. Don't put too much water because then it'll be too thin. She's got another bag full of brushes. Yeah, but you have specific brushes for specific... Oh, oh. God, I don't know how old my arm. Or like old this, like a pencil or what? <laughs> Balance your elbow on the table. I can't, I can't feel it. There you go. That's great. That's actually really good. I'm going to this way. Now what we're going to do... Yeah, I've done alright there, Anna. So next I want you to put makeup on your brush again. And you're going to start... So it's under the eye, same thing under the eye. Same thing under the eye, but you're sort of pointing it towards the centre of your nose. Ah, oh, I messed up! See, if you mess up, like, badly, would you just start again? No, you can fix it. Oh, I've nailed it! I fucking nailed it, Mush! Is this what they do on RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh, they do way more than this. Oh no, Niall, you just touched your face with the fucking thing. I wanted to get it. That's the thing, when I'm looking in the mirror though, and I think the end of the brush is where I want it to go. When it hits my face, it's not in the right place. Do you know what I mean? That coordinate, that like hand-eye coordination of where you touch it. It's weird. And then you're gonna connect these with the blue. There you go. Looks black. 
Oh, I didn't know how connecting them. Why, what did you do? Well, I've gone quite far that way, haven't I? <laughs> well, you can I've just, just bring, put paint on the table. You can bring the blue over into the thing, it don't matter. Alright, where's my brush? I get all cringeworthy when I'm doing stuff like this, it makes me cringe. Like, I, if I'm sat still, I'm gonna concentrate on like this. My belly goes all funny. <laughs> I'm having a great time. My hand's so shaky, Em. Yeah, but that, that you get better at with time. Okay, I quite like that. It's done, it's done a good job. Bit of water in there, bit of fucking paint, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll take it, we'll take it, boys. Uh, red round outside. Red, a red line just around the outside of the cheek, just to make it pop. It's gosh. And then if you're being really particular, you can I'm not being back. particular at all, I'm going to end it. It's such a shaky thing, like, painting. You're kind of like, <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, I don't think I look that different to you. I know, like, yours is quite polished, but I don't think I look that different. It's maybe not blended. That ain't blended very well, is it, that? Like yours. Which bit? That bit. <laughs> In the pink. Pink a ruby. Going on these bits. Mm -hmm. It helps if you sort of pull your lip down like that. Well, like that, yeah. Like that one. And then you sort of... See how she's just ragging that? A drop brush. She's ragging it. If I ragged it, I'd have pink on my neck. <laughs> what? Are you going down? Why that? What does that do? I don't know. I just do that. It's nowhere near your mouth when you pull your mouth down. So it stretches your skin downwards, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Don't look at me while you're doing I'm it. Not, I'm copying your face. Why do you think I'm looking at you? Okay, right, what's next? Are you going up top? Mm -hmm. Well, basically this makeup is like a sea creature. So all my eyebrows are going to be pink. How did you get this off? I haven't thought about that yet. I ain't got any coconut oil in my water, some brush shop. Nice. Then, using this brush, right. the blue, same top and bottom. See, like, how much does all this cost? Are you actually like, no, look surf, at all these things? No, pay for the makeup. Do they? But well, what, how much would all this be? Everyone. Grand age, maybe? Well, we can get new makeup whenever we need. Oh my god, so you're quite ragging that quite hard, right? Yeah, so forwards and backwards, because it, it's quite like to get a decent colour of the blue, you have to work a little bit harder for it. You want to blend it all back around with yellow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I've gone overboard on that side with blue. How does yours look like that? Mine don't look far off. Like, you look like an adult's drawing and mine's is a kid's drawing. That's all I, that's how I can the compare them. The only thing that upsets me is like this bit. Like, all I wanted was a straight line there. And that was me attempting to draw one. <laughs> yeah. I was shaking whilst I was doing it. It's hard. Right, what's next? The yellow around the... This one. You can always come back with other colours and sort of blend. So I'm going to come back with the, the bigger yellow and just blend that green into it as well. Green saved me. It looks a bit better now. Looks great, babe. Right, what do you want to do next? Lips or eyeliner? <coughs> what would you do next? Your coach, your teacher. We've had a lot of this asking questions from you today, missus. And all I'm here to do is look pretty for the circus show. Right, so what we're going to do take this brush. Usually the eyeliner's blue but would you prefer to use the brush and the wet paint or an actual eyeliner pencil brush? What? I've broken it. No, what do you think for me, Emily? Okay, do Stop this. Stop asking me questions because the answer is I don't know, do I? Become more assertive and just go, you're doing this, Niall, and I'll go, all right, love, I'll do it. All right, you're doing this, Niall. Right, what am I doing? Putting your brush in the water and yeah. then getting a lot of blue paint, yeah? Yeah. On your brush. Yeah. And you're going like this. And that's going all the way across and all the way under. And I've got, I've got a brush here. Get a lot of paint on this. You don't want it too watery because then it'll run into your eye and blind you. I can't get to the top of my eye. How do, I put, how do you position your right. eyes? So you put your head back like that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to be closer to the mirror because I can't see. Why do you think I sit in the, in the sink? I don't know why. Do you open your eyes wide? Yeah. Well, just leave it neutral. <laughs> how are you doing? You're doing good. Is that positive voice in your head uh, Scottish then? So us some of your best accents. This is flipping. I can't do so. <laughs> that we're all right. Right, I'm just gonna go over it. You're not meant. You're not meant to go underneath. You said all the way around. You had them underneath. What the fuck? I, mean, I got all the way around your eye. Right, look at you. You've just done nicely blemished on top. Painted on you, sorry. <laughs> nicely blemished. See, I'm learning all terms now. Tell you what, like, 
I'm all for going to a show. This bit about it would put me off it. You know what? Your makeup won't be as hard as this. Up. Well, it depends yeah. on what show you go to. I should have probably taken you through the boys' makeup of Crystal. You would have liked that one. Yeah. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't have taken half as long either. It would have taken about 10 minutes. I just feel like I'm painting my eyelashes. I think that I'll do. I'll be like, I'm up with that. I can't quite get it on the top bit, Em. I don't know how to position my eye and move my eyelashes out of the way. Just come to practice. I'm just painting my eyelash. I mean, when, I, when I look normal, I, I can't get to it, so I need like... You head back and just leave your eye open. But you've got quite curly. <laughs> Mine ain't that much different to yours. Yours is just, you know, better polished. I've got little dimples on. I can't quite paint as straight a line as Emily, but I'm, I'm quite proud. You should be, you've done really well. And you won't mourn half as much as I thought you were gonna make. Gonna, so that's great. Right. right, next babe, mascara. I have to do this because my eyelashes actually really long. <laughs> yeah, you have to do this. But I'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna look like I've been wearing makeup for four weeks. Cause it's not gonna come off. <laughs> it's gonna stick to my face and my eyelashes and look like lids. You can use the Christian Dior one. Oh. Cause you're special. Wednesday morning and I'm shopping up in Harrods, man. I got a Christian Dior. Oh, I've put it on my nose. <laughs> Fuck! I don't get that off him quick. Dab it. Yeah. Oh, you can't move. Right, top and bottom, babe. So what do you do? Just give it a little. So you hold, put, put your head back a little bit then. Yeah. Oh no, I've put, oh, I got it too far, close. Put it in <laughs> the eye. Right, sorry. I've got mascara all over my nose though. You can come back with a different colour and like blend it back out. No blending today. See, so right, you've moved on to the lips without me. What is this? What are you doing? You've not even talked me through it. You're just, I'm just gonna look at that and you're gonna go, right, oh yeah, lips, yeah, right. right. What you do with lips, take this one with the with the water again, you draw. And you draw your lips bigger than they naturally are. Because the people in the back row wanna see them. So what, just draw, I'm drawing well, around the edge of my This is how I'm lip. holding, so my forearm's bouncing on the edge of the tail, I'm holding my wrist to support it. Now you put it in your mouth. Open a bit. I went through a phase on the show of drawing my lips massive. Yeah, I looked funny close up, but I looked good from the back row. I've nailed this. Yeah, and then fill it in. All the way. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is that pink brush that you used. And you're going to colour in pink. See, like, who, who makes this up though? Who decides that they're going to look like this? They have makeup designers who literally create makeup for shows. And then you just cut then they teach you how to do it? Yeah, so they create the makeup, decide all the products, decide what you're all gonna look like, then teach you all. Drag baby. So next you take your blue, the wet blue, just a little bit in the corner. And then you're gonna blend that out with the powder blue, put that in. There you go. Right, so what you do next is a little bit of yellow in the centre of your lip. A little bit of yellow. Right in the centre of your lip. You can't even see that, eh? Oh, yeah, you can. You can't see how I'm fine, though. Last little bit. Last but not very not least. You go over with gold on your forehead. A little bit of gold here. And basically gold on all the yellow bits. It looks, yours looks so sick. Oh, you might have put a little bit much there, but it's okay. You can come back with this brush and dust it off. Do you want me to dust your bit off? You look amazing, babe. You actually did really well. I'm proud of you. All right, then. There we go. Here's the verdict. Make sure you mark me out a 10, what do you think? A 7, definitely a 7. A 7? That's high. You all look so good when I look at mine, it looks... Hers looks incredible, mine looks like a like a kid's just drawn it. Right, you know, like sort of like squiggly lines and stuff. Not even 5 minutes and I'll fix yours. Don't want it fixed, you know. Yeah. Proud of what I've done. The eyeliner were an absolute bitch. I just, I got a lot of respect for Cirque Artists having to do that every day for an hour and also Girls having to do that every day for an hour, although I'd say you don't have to do that every day because you all look beautiful, natural as well. And you know, Emily naturally is my favourite Emily. Aww. Be your own natural beauty. And if you want to put makeup on all the time, then that's okay as well. So there you have it, guys. She did halfway through say that I could have done a boys' makeup, but it took 15 minutes. And we wanted to be sat here for an hour doing all this, but. Hey ho, so maybe when I go to Cirque du Soleil, Cirque I keep saying that I'm going to Cirque du Soleil as if I am, that's a, that's a, not true, it's just you've sort of, I'm just laying the, you know, I'm laying. not saying this in a nasty way, but like, you've got to pass a medical to get into Cirque. Yeah, so, so right now, what are you trying to say? Retired fruit injury, mm. so 
in order to get into search slam passing medical you just need to do a little bit of work to look how stressed you are it's all right i'm only joking love right back to the subscribe button i'll see you all later yeah take it easy you loved that we don't have anything to take it off